Hello. On this episode of the Travel Eat Drink Podcast, kind of live from Istanbul, I guess, come explore a fun new neighborhood I discovered here called Balat, which is not one of the typical neighborhoods, but one is that if you're looking for something young and fun and modern, here it is. So check it out. Welcome to the Travel Eat Drink Podcast. Ready? Let's go. Welcome again to this episode of the Travel Eat Drink Podcast. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do so. It really helps us grow. And if you aren't watching this episode on YouTube, I highly recommend it because I am filming right now from Istanbul and so you'll definitely miss a lot of the random stuff that's happening around me and all the beautiful visuals here because there really are some amazing pieces of artwork in terms of graffiti and the buildings are all multicolored and you're really missing out on a lot so find us at youtube.com slash travel eat drink and watch the episode there but if you do want to just listen to the audio version I will do my best to try to describe what I'm seeing but I'm definitely going to forget from time to time just because there is so much taken and so I do apologize for that but I do highly recommend that you go catch us on youtube.com uh, at tra- youtube.com slash travel drink and also subscribe there if you can as well and like the video so let's get on with it I found a really cool neighborhood it's uh, called Balat, or at least I believe it's pronounced that way. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. But it's a really cool, gentrifying neighborhood, we'll call it. Uh, definitely has super hipster vibes and probably the most hipster area in all of Turkey, I would assume. But it definitely has vibes of possibly being a future Notting Hill or maybe how Williamsburg kind of started. There's a lot of cool cafes and restaurants just starting up here uh, a lot of really cool street graffiti as well and um, it's just a very different scene definitely a much younger area and not as historical probably not even well as well known definitely not as well known but uh, definitely I would assume this would be a very popular spot with the younger population of Istanbul and if you're looking for something a little bit different, a little bit less historic, and uh, something that I feel probably captures more of the vibe of modern Istanbul, drop by Balat. I really need to uh, check how to pronounce that later on, but as you can see, there's just a lot of cool restaurants and cafes and shops and art stores. There's even something right behind me down there that looks like the beginnings of their version of Whole Foods just up here um, but uh, but uh, not unlike the rest of Istanbul though definitely a chaotic environment a lot of lots going on all the time and um, oops. definitely watch out for the ground around here because it's very uneven everywhere you go loose stones loose cobblestones just random holes everything you could ever imagine um oh look and uh, you know really professional instagram shoots right there i don't have that kind of a budget or that kind of team and nor would i ever be comfortable with someone randomly hanging around me and also watch out for traffic they're constantly trying to kill you as well so <laughs> so you listen out pay attention to your surroundings make sure you know what's going on so you don't get run over but also just be polite you don't want to get in anyone's way because they're just trying to get on with their lives and you're likely in the way of that as a tourist just trying to snap your photos so just do it quickly try to get out of people's way pay attention to what's going on but take the time to look around like you see behind me there's this really cool restaurant here i'm just looking for a cafe or something to uh, have coffee haven't decided exactly where I'm gonna be but I'll share it with you guys later on when I finally decide exactly where to go there's definitely no shortage of places around here to enjoy and there's actually oh actually I'll show you this another cool piece of graffiti behind me as you can tell this area is just covered in graffiti so I mean, people, not quite what you'd find in, let's say, the Wynwood area of Miami, which is just 
ama an amazing, just uh, overwhelming display of graffiti, but there's definitely a lot of good work here and it's up and coming and starting. I, I'll have to take a look and see when this neighborhood actually started developing the way that it did right now because this is very, very different than the rest of Istanbul. It, I, if someone didn't tell me I was in Istanbul, I'm not even sure that I'd realize I was here um, because this could very easily just fit in any, anywhere in the world. So I'm really, really happy to have stumbled upon this neighborhood and not as easy to get to, but also not too hard, especially if you're in staying in the city center. It's probably, I think I, it's probably like about a half hour walk away. There's also some buses that'll take you here as well, but walking is an amazing way to do it because it gives you a chance to get to see the city as well. And the walk is just along the Bosphorus Strait there. So you take a look at the water line and enjoy everything that's going on there. And it's always just fun to get some extra exercise and get your steps in. I'm lucky that right now it's not too warm. It's uh, probably, let's see, the high 20s in Celsius. Um, for our Fahrenheit friends, that's probably in the 80s. And But the most important thing is it's not too humid, so I'm not about to die. And oh, look, more fun street art behind me as well. And um, cool. some people getting their shot in front of the design over there. So this area is probably completely developed because of the fact that social media exists and so everyone can get their Instagramming, get up their Instagram game. And this, and this seems to go on endlessly forever. I'm just wrecked. I thought I'd already explored most of it, but as I'm discovering now, there's still a lot of areas here to see. And uh, of course, the streets are really, really narrow, so you have to be very, very careful when you're going on this adventure, but you see lots of Instagram models here. So I decided to drop in this spot here called Cafe Naftalin in Balat. I ordered myself a fantastic iced Americano because I'm quite hot right now. And uh, something cold would be nice. And also a walnut brownie to bring my blood sugar up. Seems like a fun little spot. As you can see behind me, I like to sit outside, which is kind of on the street but it is fun. I probably already had enough sugar with all the baklava. I mean, uh, yeah, baklava that I ate and the uh, Turkish delight. But, oh well. I can always get some insulin later on, I guess, somewhere. Probably in the Grand Bazaar. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. So, oh uh, look, the kitty. They always come by when you got food, but I don't think they really like, um... what do you think, kitty? Oh, no. He's like, I don't care about no walnut brownie. I was hoping he has some meat. I'm still amazed at how affordable Turkey is. So if anyone's looking to come, you can you you don't have to spend a fortune. I mean, just for my iced Americano there and this walnut uh, brownie, it comes out to just under 90 lira, which I think at current exchange is um, what like maybe. Five dollars US or something at most, so it is definitely a great bargain. I mean, I don't even know if I can get an iced americano at home for five dollars. Probably not. So definitely great bargain. It's actually incredible. This lemon cart guy just appears out of nowhere, and I don't know if he's just staked out this cafe here, but everyone that sits down at the cafe, he suddenly just because, like I said, right now, he is nowhere to be found. And he is not a small man. He can't hide behind a lamppost. But somehow, whenever anyone sits down, he just swoops in like a ninja with his uh, lemon cart. Uses his tried, obviously tried and true sales skills of ask, just asking how much repeatedly until hopefully you buckle. He usually gives up after about asking eight times. Um, but, uh, but so far, I'm the only one lucky enough for him to have dropped off some garbage. 
<laughs> so, oh, well, there he is again. I wonder where he's gonna go find his next, next victim of love. Lots of people have been stopping by and taking pictures of something next to me. At first I thought of something, some decorative piece, but it looks like it's my little buddy. It's my cute little buddy back here. Whose name for now will just be Cat or Kitty. Because I'm very creative with my name. But you're gonna see lots of these stray kitties and doggies all over Istanbul. They're treated like everyone's neighborhood cat or dog. So feel free to pet them, they're super friendly. Unless of course they're foaming at the mouth, in which case keep as far away from them as possible. They're definitely all laughing at me because I'm talking to myself here, but that's okay because I do it all for the kids. My little buddy's next to me now. I'd love to pet him, but unfortunately I'm allergic to cats. So it could make for a very uncomfortable experience for me. But I guess I am glad that Kitty does not seem to want any of my walnut brownie. Off he goes. Some more views of the beautiful graffiti art in the Balot neighborhood. As you can see, some of it's just absolutely amazing. I wonder how they get that high. Very creative and very innovative. Sorry about the glare on the screen here. But I just want to show you this street with all its cafes and restaurants and of course the Pancake House, which in my mind I, I'd like to believe that it's affiliated with the International House of Pancakes, but I doubt it. As you see from the gradient here, Istanbul is a very, very hilly place, so be ready for a workout when you get here. And of course those beautiful, colorful steps leading up to the restaurant and this wonderful piece of art here with the mirror. So you can sit in front of it and while you're staring at something that seems a little bit modern in front of you. Behind is juxtaposed onto this very, very different scenery, which reflects the current state of Istanbul now. And here you have more graffiti art on the street. And a neighborhood dog. So a lot of those doggies lying around. So I'm starting to realize I'm completely wrong about this area being undiscovered because definitely everybody knows about it. It is quite developed, as you can see around me. There are parts that are really, really popular and developed. And uh, so obviously, if you're from Istanbul, you know the Balak neighborhood very, very well. They've just probably gone out of their way to hide it from the tourists. And I don't blame them because the last thing they want to do is to turn this area into a tourist trap. Like, so um, on the one hand, I feel bad for telling everyone about it, but I think it's just so awesome that I think it's an area that everyone really should explore because just seeing the city in terms of all the tourist locations really doesn't tell you anything about the actual way that people live. It doesn't allow you to take in the actual real culture as much. So uh, my apologies to Istanbul, but I'm going to have to tell everyone about Balat and how amazing it actually is. So uh, come to Balat, but be respectful and don't get in anyone's way because uh, everyone moves at a pretty fast pace. And uh, so be careful and have fun. I also just realized I have absolutely no idea where I am. So hopefully my phone doesn't die and hopefully the GPS works because I've just been randomly exploring all the alleyways and all the random streets in Balat here. So I'm somewhere in Balat. That's where I was last seen. So if, uh, if I go missing, look for me probably in a cafe here somewhere. And I forgot to mention there's also a lot of antique shops here in the area as well. So if you're looking for antiques, this is also a fun area to hit up. At least, not, not, a, not if you're looking for uh, ancient Ottoman uh, antiques, but uh, if you're looking for something a little bit more quirky and eclectic, then this is your spot. Oh my god, I wouldn't have believed if I didn't see it myself. But a vegan restaurant in Istanbul. Proving once again, this is uh, the most hipster area in all of Turkey. I uh, Because anywhere else with anyone else, even the mention of veganism seems to uh, get people reacting in a strange way and so the fact that there actually is a vegan restaurant absolutely amazing so any vegans visiting Istanbul come by the Balat region and come 
visit the vegan narcissist. Okay, I take it all back. <laughs> the tour groups have definitely found this place. I was just here way too early in the day. <laughs> Still a cool spot though, even though the tour groups have found out about it. So make sure you visit Balat, whether on your own or as part of a tour group. I think I've pretty much decided that if I ever have to move to Istanbul, I'm definitely living in the Balat region or in Balat neighborhood because this spot is so cool. Just, I, yeah, it's definitely my vibe. It's definitely my vibe. Definitely reminds me of, you know, what uh, you would, ex like I said, what the early days of Williamsburg probably were, the uh, early days of Notting Hill, maybe even mix that in with a little bit of the Wynwood region in Miami and uh, well, I'll toss in some Camden Town from London, why not? And uh, probably what uh, you found down in East Village before it got really, uh, really fancy. And it's just absolutely, absolutely amazing. It's so much fun. And uh, you know, I think it represents an interesting slice of modern, sort of probably younger uh, Istanbul, which isn't highlighted as much, I don't think. And it's just nice to know that they, you know, we're all the same, no matter how different we think we are, we're all the same and we all kind of enjoy the same things. And um, so the Balat neighborhood, I'm, you know, if, you, if any of you are looking for real estate, start buying here, because I have no doubt that the real estate prices here are gonna just balloon and just gonna explode over the years because it becomes a more desirable neighborhood. And as people realize that you don't have to live in central Istanbul and deal with all the traffic. I mean, there's traffic out here too and you still, Unfortunately, there's a lot of narrow streets, and no matter where you go, the traffic will be a little bit funky, but I think you can probably get around here without having to have a car. Get a bicycle or a scooter or whatever, you know, just, you know, walk as much as you possibly can, and uh, it's healthier for you as well, so. And also, this neighborhood's right along the uh, phosphorus, so you're also near the water as well, which I often like to be near the water. It's a very important criteria for me, so the combination of cool place, lots of access to coffee, and cool, uh, food uh, establishments and uh, fun people and uh, cool graffiti and close to water. It hits all of my recommended needs for the world. So talk to you guys soon.